Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Doc Williams from Build With Me and today we're going to be looking at Adalo versus AppGyver. Now, if you're not familiar with either one, I have a bunch of videos talking about Adalo, but real quick, let's just do an overview. It allows you to create no-code apps very quickly, and it's almost like a good in middle of the road pack, right? So it's not as hard as Bubble, but it gives you a lot more uh, specificity than like something like Glide app or something like that. And so we're going to look at the difference between that and AppGyver. Now, I don't want to bore you, so I'm just going to get right to the chase and give you my reviews, what I think is better, and then go a little bit deeper. So Adalo and AppGyver, they're built for two different audiences. So what I would say is it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish and also how experienced you are with just building apps and what you're trying to do. Adalo has a lot more templates and it, well, yeah, I mean, their templates are great. It already does a lot of the work for you. So Adalo is great for those kind of things. And so if you're trying to build a real estate app ordering, you can do a lot of different things. You could make the next Airbnb product hunt, all those things. It's like right out of the box for you. But if you want to have more functionality, be able to control that workflow similar to bubble, but it gives you more of a drag and dropper feel, I would go with AppGyver. Now, if you're familiar with uh, building in workflows, having databases, all those things, that's what AppGyver is going to give you because you're gonna have to build all of that functionality for, for into your app, right? So the logic visually, this is very similar to Bubble and other apps. I find this a little bit easier than Bubble and they kind of give you some of the components and helps you uh, help you a little bit further along than Bubble. Adalo does have that logic, but I find that this is for more basic logic and not as extensive as AppGyver. Now, I'm going to focus on AppGyver just for a moment. What I like about AppGyver, if you haven't given it a chance yet, number one, it's pretty much free until I think you hit like 10 million. Uh, yeah, in funding or yeah, so it's pretty much free. Uh, for a long time before you, you know, you're going to be profitable before they start charging you. Now, what I would also say is what I really like, if you're having trouble and you're like, I'm not sure if this is for me, on their front page, they give a few different bigger companies how they use AppGyver. And this allows you to kind of p uh, paint a picture if this is something for you, but they're very extensive and they're very established businesses that use AppGyver. And so, if you're willing to put in the work and work on the workflow, look at the documentation, you can do a lot of things with AppGyver, but the learning curve is a, lar a lot larger than something like Adalo. Different case studies, different reasons to use both platforms, so just keep that in mind. The other thing that I like about AppGyver, again, is if you look at it, the drag and drop, if you've done drag and drop for websites, things like that, it's very similar to that, and so it gives you that feel. Okay, so what does it look like on the back end? Again, if you've used Elementor in WordPress or you've used Divi, you, these things are pretty common to you, right? You can bring over like paragraph titles, you can bring it right over here, and it's a WYSIWYG, so what you see is what you get. This allows you to see exactly how it's gonna show up in your app. Now, this is the basics of what's happening, right? You can have your data, navigation, your themes, all of these things. But again, you're going to be building this out versus if you're with Adalo, you're going to have a lot of these templates built for you. And then it's easier for you to reverse engineer and, you know, make the changes if you're just getting started. So the verdict, Adalo or AppGyver? <laughs> keep saying this and I'm sorry, but it really depends on what you're trying to do with your app and where you are. So if you're just getting started, you want something very visual, either you know, you're know you trying to s validate your idea, I would go with Adalo. If the functionality is very straightforward, I would look at, again, the showcase, I'd look at templates, would it be something like that? Or look at the message board or different no-code communities, see what people are doing. AppGyver, gives you a lot more flexibility similar to bubble but i find because of the different drag and drop features it is easier than bubble i feel to get started um and and so that's just my opinion i think app is a step below bubble because 
if you're going into that realm of bubble, there's so many people using it for very unique apps that if you can understand the database and all those functionalities and you want to take it to the extreme of what you could possibly do with no code, I would tap into that community too. So if you're closer to, I, hey, you love bubble, you love the functionality, you love the logic, you love what you can do, AppGyver would be closer uh, for you. So let me know what you're thinking. If this makes sense, if you have any questions, more, uh, you know, more questions regarding AppGyver or Adalo and all those things, please uh, put them in the comment section down below. And also, too, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and give this video a like and let me know what you want further in the future. Again, these tutorials, these reviews are all based off of the community, the Build It community and what people are saying. So again, thank you so much for the time. Talk to you in the next video.